Cool indeed. Tomorrow, baseball's true Midsummer Classic gets underway. Yes, the one that matters, the Little League World Series. 16 teams, half of them American teams, half international, will vie for the title as the sport shows off some of the best baseball-playing youngsters the world has to offer. And five years ago this summer, the cream of that crop was Monet Davis. In 2014, she used her 70-plus miles per hour fastball to become the first girl to win a Little League World Series game as a pitcher and the first girl to toss a shutout in tournament history. And then fame followed. SI cover? Check. A Spike Lee documentary about her? Check. A memoir at age 14? Check. Oh, yes, and a jersey in the Baseball Hall of Fame at 13 and throwing out the first pitch in a World Series game. Perfectly, I might add. But now the college-bound Davis is embarking on a new path. Having excelled in basketball, softball, and soccer in high school, Davis will play softball for Hampton University, choosing the historically black college over several other schools, including Southern and the University of Pennsylvania. And her intention? To play middle infield, not to pitch. All right, so we'll get to that in a second. Monet Davis joining us now. Monet, I saw you smile a little bit when we played that little introduction. When you watch the Little League World Series now, what do you remember about that time that really stands out? Um, I just remember playing in the rec room with all the teams, uh, just enjoying the little moments like those because those are what stick out the most, um, just having fun, really. Really? So it doesn't come back as like, oh, the fame, the attention, all that? It, it's just the little moments? Yeah, just the little moments. I actually don't remember between the second and the fifth inning of the first game, so really? can't tell you about that. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. We, we just talked about it in the intro right there. You're going to play softball at Hampton, but you're going to play middle infield, not be a pitcher. Why not? Um, It's completely different. Uh, I tried pitching in sixth grade, and I just wasn't a fan of it. Um, and pitching in baseball is completely different, but – I just was 10th grade when I decided to play for high school. I was like, I want to try just being a fielder and hitting um, to really uh, help my team win. And my coach put me at a shortstop, and I've just been playing there ever since. Okay. Now, you chose to go to Hampton University, one of our wonderful historically black colleges in this country. Why did you choose Hampton? What, what, what made you want to make that choice? Um, well, I, since I decided to do softball so late, um, Hampton was one of the schools that got back to me. Um, I did a camp. Um, I went to visit the campus a few times, and every time I stepped on campus, it just felt like home, which I was looking for in a college. Uh, everyone was so welcoming. All the, the girls on the team were amazing. The coaches were amazing. And I was just like, I think this is the right place for me, and it just felt right. Yeah, and I've heard you talk about how you'd have a different experience being around more people of color at Hampton than you would be at other schools. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, from second grade all the way until graduating, I've been at a predominantly white school. Um, and just to be able to go to an HBCU to get that experience and to um, just follow in a lot of uh, paths that a lot of African Americans went through, I think it'd be pretty cool just to go to a college say I went to an HBCU because I feel like um, a lot of people are going to start coming there. And it's just it's just going to be great. I feel like a lot of back, black athletes should really look into HBCUs. Um, and it's just one of the experiences that I've, I'll be able to say I won't regret and that I made the right decision. Absolutely true. couple seconds left. You ever want to play pro baseball someday? Um, I don't think so. Um, a lot of people have asked me that, but I don't think so. I mean, I'm still competing now, but I don't think I want to be pro. Okay, well, we can't wait to see you play on the college level, that's for sure. Monet, thank you so much. And we'll be right back.